Here we are going to discuss a very simple and very interesting question from the topic tangent to a circle. So first of all, let us see the question. Here question is in the figure, AD is a diameter. You see AD is a diameter of a circle with center O. This diameter AD is passing through center O. And AB is a tangent at A. See, AB is a tangent at this point A. C is a point on the circle such that DC produced intersects the tangent at B. Here C is any point on the circle such that DC produced intersects the tangent at the point B. If angle ABC is 50 degree, this angle is given, angle ABC is 50 degree, find angle AOC. We have to find out this angle. Correct? So let us see. Let us try this question. Solution is very simple. Here we know a property that radius or diameter is always perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact. So here DA is a diameter or OA is a radius. So this angle will be 90 degree. Radius OA will be perpendicular on AB. Okay. So here we are getting angle DAB. This is equal to 90 degree. How? Because we know a property that tangent is always perpendicular to the radius or diameter at the point of contact. Now let us discuss triangle DAB. Now, in triangle DAB, we know the values of two angles. One angle is 90 degree, another angle is 50 degree. So, we can find out this angle D very easily because we know sum of three angles will be 180 degree. So, in, tri in triangle DAB, we know that angle A plus angle B plus angle D will be 180 degree and angle A is 90 degree angle B is given this is 50 degree angle D is equal to 180 degree therefore angle D is equal to 180 degree minus sum of 90 plus 50 means 140 degree therefore angle D is equal to 40 degree so we, we are getting this angle this is 40 degree correct now we can find out this angle AOC very easily. We can use the property of a circle. You see this property that if AB is any arc here, then the angle subtended at the center of the circle by this arc AB means this angle means angle AOB will be twice of the angle subtended at any point on the circumference of the circle suppose point P is here in the same side okay so this angle AOB will be twice of angle APB so we can use this property here also because angle AOC is a central angle and angle ADC is subtended by the same arc AC at circumference so this central angle will be double of this angle D. So therefore, here we find that angle AOC will be twice of angle ADB. Why? What is the reason? Angle AOC and ADB are the angles subtended by the same arc AC but angle AOC is subtended at the center of the circle and angle ADB is subtended in the circumference of the circle. So at circumference of the circle angle is half of center, central angle or you can say that angle subtended at the center of the circle is double of is twice of this angle D. So by using this property you can write angle AOC is twice of angle ADB. Okay. And ADB is how much? 
ADB means angle D is 40 degree. We have already got here. So therefore, angle AOC this will 2 into 40 degree. So this is equal to 80 degree. So we are getting the value of angle AOC here. This is 40 degree. Sorry, this is 80 degree. This is the answer. Fine. So question is very simple. Just we have to apply a property that angle subtended at the center of the circle is twice of the angle subtended by the same arc at circumference of the circle. So we are getting this result. Thank you.